Hello my charmed ones and welcome back to my channel for another video. This week I tackled a minor home organization project that I thought you'd like to see. I reorganized my pantry. So if you'd like to see how I took my pantry from this to this, stay tuned. Let me give you a little bit of context about my pantry. It's not actually intended to be a pantry. It's actually a coat closet. So it's a weird shape for a pantry because it's actually deeper than it is wide. But there is already a coat closet in the entry of my home, so it made sense to repurpose this space into a pantry since it's essentially part of the kitchen. In addition to that, this closet is actually where the water line enters the home and where the water meter and and the cutoff valves for all of that are stored. So earlier this year, when I was planning out how to effectively turn this closet into a usable pantry, there were a lot of things to consider on my end for the best way to build out the space. Let me show you a little before picture for this space to give you some context. Before the shelving was built into the closet to make it a pantry, I had a cheap freestanding metal shelving unit from Ikea in there. Now it gave me a little bit of space to put some food on some shelving, but it was honestly not the best use of that space. So I knew that I needed to add some form of custom and removable shelving. So I landed on using a wire shelving system that I forget if it came from Home Depot or Lowe's, but it came from one of those. Here's a picture of what it actually looked like after the installation. Now, I realize this video isn't about the wire shelving installation. That was done like months ago. But I wanted you to see what I'm working with because the space is odd. And I've been trying to transform this closet into a working pantry for a while now so that I can have a place to store like dry goods and ingredients, as well as some serveware and small appliances. If there are any of you out there who are in a similar situation to mine where you have a spare closet that you'd love to turn into a pantry, but the sizing makes it seem really odd, let me be an example that there are solutions out there. They aren't going to be perfect, but for me, done is definitely better than perfect in this scenario. So let's jump into the organization part of this video where I show you that my pantry, because of the less than ideal setup, tends to get so crowded and things fall through the wire shelving all the time or they fall off the side of the shelving. I have a hard time stacking things in here, I think because of the wire. And so I decided that the best course of action would be to buy some tubs to wrangle everything. So I headed over to my local HomeSense and they had some options that I was pretty pleased with. I ended up buying a set of three larger storage baskets and two sets of four medium sized baskets. So once I had those back home, I first had to empty the pantry. You'll notice as I'm doing this, I'm not completely emptying all of the shelves. I do have some large serveware and party items that I don't necessarily need to put into these storage bins, so I'm leaving those in place. Ideally, I want to have a few shelves in here for food and a few shelves for serveware. I don't know about you, but I'm one of the point people in my family who hosts for the holidays and such. Plus, I love to entertain, so I have a few get-togethers at my house throughout the year for friends and family, and so I have a lot of serveware and a lot of party supplies on hand that I need to store. Once I get everything that needs organizing out of the pantry, I start to arrange it over on my kitchen table. So here I'm just organizing things into bins based on what I think belongs together and how I see the organization in the closet flowing. Again, because the pantry is deeper than it is wide, the plan for me is that I will need to double up on the bins in each shelf. So I won't necessarily be able to see everything in my pantry at once, but by using the bins, I can easily wrangle like items together and pull out the first layer of bins to get to the the second layer. Less than ideal, I know, but my priority is to maximize space so I can store more things and this is the best way forward for now. Once the bins are filled, I start arranging them in the closet. I have a bit of a system for organizing that I've been using already that I want to continue with. 
The large bin with all of the dog treats in it goes at the very top, so my fur sons can't get to it. And I also like to make sure that shelves with food are higher up, so if I leave the door to the pantry open, the boys can't get into any food and then get sick. So for that reason, I keep small appliances and serveware closer to the bottom. I've also decided to keep larger baskets with canned and jarred foods lower because those are heavier. There's nothing worse than trying to move a heavier bin that's higher up, especially when you're short like I am. So for that reason, I keep the smaller baskets that are likely going to be moved more frequently higher up. So overall, I'm pleased with the way that this turned out. I have an extra bin and I even have space for a few more bins if I'd like to add to it. And I most likely will be cleaning out the Lazy Susan that's in my kitchen cabinets as well. So I'll end up transferring things from there into the pantry when the time comes. I hope you enjoyed this video. At the very least, I hope that it inspired you to clean out your own pantry or cabinets. I think this is a great time of year to get some of this work done because if you're like me and you have a bunch of parties planned for the holidays, it's good to have all of your dry food and ingredients and all your serveware organized to make this process easier. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I will get back to you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with anyone that you know could use the inspiration as well. For more of the behind the scenes of my productivity, life, and business, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Miss Trenchcoat. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, bye-bye!